Hello guys, I'm Otis Buckets, and you can find me as Imaginary Fingers on TikTok and Instagram. But I'm a Facebook Marketplace seller, like I said, I'm Otis Buckets. Uh, today I have something that everybody inside the tech debt culture needs to be aware of because this is a giant scam alert that we could all face. Yo, I buy thousands of tech decks off eBay and this is the first time I've ever run into this issue. So I recently got these tech decks in that were like this, but not this one or this one or even this one. These are all real tech decks. I got this lot on eBay of eight card attack decks. I got this, this was in it, this, this, and a bunch more. I posted them for sale in the group and I had somebody hit me up and was like, yo Otis, I don't wanna call you out in the group because you're a top seller, but are you aware you're selling fake product? I'm like, what? I'm selling fake product? So I had to dig in deeper to this. So inside of some of these boards I got, I have this. I am a Rob Deere deck collector, hardcore dire Rob Deere deck collector. This is his Red Soldier board. Just take a very close peek at it because I'm gonna try to talk some differences. This is the Red Soldier board fake that I got. Let me, oh, let me open this up real quick. First of all, when opening this, I found out a couple things wrong. First of all, there's no tape here. On all attack decks that Spin Master made of these, majority of them have a piece of tape going on the bottom to hold it from things like this, from, from it falling apart. Yes, that was a hundred dollar attack deck that I just went ahead and flipped to try to show you guys that when you open up these fake tech decks, they do this. There's nothing to catch them. Now to the next thing I'm going into with the fake tech decks. This is a real set of sticker packets. Majority of them have nothing on the back, but if you have something like this and you get a sticker packet from it, it has numbers on the back. Well, the sticker packet in these fake ones are obviously fake. Look at that. You can obviously see right through that piece of paper and see the word China right there cut or something, some type of word. I'm like, wow, this is getting fishier. Well, all these tac tacs I got have the same wheels. These zebra, yeah, zebra printed wheels. This one has it. This black hole has it. I was confused because I've never even seen a black label black hole. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. And then the fake one to the real one. Things that you can't see on the microscopic because my camera's kind of bad. But where it says Rob Deerdeck right there in that alien workshop, you can't read this one. You can read this one. Other things different on these boards, like the little dots on the soldier that you see going through the whole alien and stuff, they're a face drawn on this. On this, they're the alien workshop. And I'm like, well, that's weird. They use a different thing that you can't even make out to try to uh, replicate this. But on top of the stickers though, these are like super flexible. This is stiffer when you're playing with it. The next thing on these fakes that I that I noticed is the back. This thing. On a real tech deck, it has a plastic thing. On the majority of them from this X concept, there's this plastic hanging. So if this tears, that this saves it. Well, when you rip this off, this is what it does to the back of the tech deck. All these fake ones that have it removed don't have the damage to the thing. So that's when I started getting fishy. And not only did that give it off, look at this card real quick. Look at this card. This thing has pointier edges. This is silver, silver and shinier. This is not shinier. This is really dull. It doesn't even have the word of the Tech Deck brand from the board that they're selling in here at all. So there's no Alien Workshop name on any of these. 
but yet any of the real ones have the real tech deck name that's why this black hole does not say black label or this almost doesn't say almost or how this alien workshop says freaking doesn't even say steve barra it says yacht something that's not even like freaking what it's supposed to say or this baker this baker was the giveaway all of these boards have these wheels too like look at this if you actually look closely at these these are all pixelated heavily this is a major thing that you need to start paying attention because people are replicating boards and trying to sell us fakes. I buy thousands of boards and I got fooled. Man, I just hope eBay gives me my money back on my case because, man, I got screwed. This dude sold me eight fakes, bro. Fake tech decks. Look at this. It even has everything perfectly, but it's dull. The back of this, dull. There's so many things wrong with it. This is wrong on the back. These are in different spots. Things that match. This is a matching one of the back. And man, there's still so much stuff wrong with it. And the other thing I noticed about this fake, this barcode matches the back of this one, this one, and all of them. They also all have the same number right here. The ones that mine have... It says 20098826. Every single one of those tack decks have that same number right here. Right here below the board. But all the real ones that I have have all different numbers right here. All this is different. That's different. This is different. That's different. So I want you guys to be aware that somebody inside the eBay community is out scamming us. And then the other thing is, is the wheels that they have on these boards are wrong. Like this is totally not perfect. It's so imperfection. You can see that this wheel is messed up. It was not cut right. Yo, the trucks are slightly different, man. And then the other thing, this and this, one of them says Taylor. And the other one says AWS soldier. So they're missing valuable parts of stickers and putting the wrong thing on because they cannot replicate it properly. And the other big thing is, is this. This is a big giveaway. So let me pull out a real one real quick from this. This is a real one. This is a fake one. The real one is waxy, waxy. This is just a piece of plain paper printed on. It is not waxy. So that is a dead giveaway when they're faking it. If this thing is not waxy, they were all made waxy during this series. So it just sucks that somebody tricked me and sold me fake tech decks, man. So I'm not going to sell these. I'm probably going to end up keeping them. Because I don't know what to do with them. I'm kind of upset that they're on the market. I need you guys to be aware that there are fake tech decks on the market. Uh, if you need authentication for your tech decks, hit me up. I've literally been studying this for over a year and a half, almost two years. I'm super into tech decks. That's why I started calling myself imaginary fingers. I just believe what I dream. And I believe when you finger skate, you can skate anything and be who you want to be. So even though I can't be a skater in real life because I'm terrible at skating, that being a fingerboarder makes me feel great about myself. And I want people to be aware because I have a crazy passion for tech decks. And I want people to be aware of this because it is not good when we get tech decks and people give us fakes. Imaginary fingers. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Check me out on Facebook under Otis Buckets. I'm in the Tech Deck Catalog Collectors Group. Please get in and join that Facebook group because, man, Jackie be dropping some of the best catalogs and understanding of what is out there in the Tech Deck world. And if you have something rare, somebody in that group will make sure that you are aware of what you have. So come join the group. Come follow. Don't get scammed on eBay like me. Buy real Tech Decks. Don't buy fakes. Have a good day, everybody. Thank you.